Well, this has been a long-running legal saga in, in Louisiana. Um, these prosecutors were initially prosecuted by the state of Louisiana, and uh, the cases did not end in, in convictions. So the federal government stepped in, much like uh, the Rodney King case several years ago in California, state acquittals followed by federal prosecution. And here we now know uh, they were uh, convicted. This was a really tragic, difficult situation where um, a lot, where in the chaotic aftermath of Katrina, there was a confrontation on this bridge and uh, people were killed. And now uh, the officers stand convicted in federal court. Yeah, these shootings, they left two people dead, four others wounded on that Danziger Bridge uh, after the 2005 storm. How unique is something like this, Jeffrey, for, for the, the federal jury to come to this conclusion? Well, it's not unique, but it's certainly unusual. Um, it, it is always difficult. Um, for police officers to be prosecuted. Uh, most juries are sympathetic to them. Most juries feel that police are on their side. Um, so um, it, the, these are fortunately unusual prosecutions. As I said, this, this does have a fairly direct parallel in California where um, there were uh, acquittals in state court in the Rodney King case, followed by a conviction in federal court. Um, it, it, it's it's fortunately unusual. Police are usually the good guys, but the um, federal government takes very seriously mm -hmm. uh, its obligation to um, police those who police us, and uh, these cases do happen. I mean, the federal prosecutors had said that the police shot the unarmed people without justification, but the defense, Jeffrey, had said all along that the officers were shot at before this happened. Uh, do these do these officers can they do anything now after this? Well, they'll, they'll, first they'll have to be sentenced, and they will almost certainly get some prison time, and then they will have the right to appeal. I think the key issue in this case, uh, there was no doubt that there was uh, a shooting here, and these people died uh, at the hands of the police. But the key issue um, has always been uh, false statements, cover, cover up by uh, some of these police officers. That um, certainly suggested a guilty state of mind on the part of them, and that's really, I think, what led uh, to the convictions here. You know, if the officers had simply come forward and said exactly what happened, um, that, that might have made the jury look very differently than if they had made false statements, which was very much part of this case. Yeah, there was the, the fabricated witnesses, possibly, the, uh, the falsified reports, the, uh, they allegedly uh, planted a gun. Do you think that's where they lost the trust? I, I think uh, false statements are gold for prosecutors because they suggest a guilty state of mind. And you know, obviously we haven't spoken to the jury yet, but certainly I think that was a very important part of this case.